Hey guys, this is update 21. Um, I'll just do one after I'm finished painting. Or I am finished painting anyway. Well, the first coat anyway. Bring away um, update 21. Um, I got two of the panels. I've started painting two of the panels. Um, I still have to wall up the hinges on these ones. A little sanding on that one. And same with that one, walling up the hinges. Um, Started painting this one. Ran out of paint for the sides. Um, I'll do the rest another day so I don't have to mix up more paint. But I got this one done. I just have to do a quick spray along the top edge or bot top side edge there. Uh, it's not painted yet. Uh, got the sides and everything on this one. But I might. I was going to do a clear coat on the panels, but I think it. I think it'll be fine. Um, anyway, here's the frame basically painted, more or less. Um, I have to get in, I might have to brush some of these areas in here because I can't really get the gun in there, or I'll use one of the mini one, I can get in there, and uh, I have to spray it up inside, inside the tube and stuff, a little few things, but I've got them top, all done, the back panels here done, still have a little painting to do in there and stuff but first coat is done uh, no dripping um, all I can find is one drip one little bit of drip right uh, I can't even see it on the camera it was right right there there we go right there it's hard to see it um, but yeah, other than that, we're good. Definitely looks different painted, all one color. But yeah, the spray is much easier. Um, just finished cleaning it. Um, I ran, I ran, I put some little bit of solvent in the reservoir there and sprayed it through just to keep after I took it all apart and cleaned it um, just to get the last little bit of residue and stuff out um, so yeah took the tires off and stuff and taped the hubs off but yeah it's basically painted um, actually today no if you, in the last few days I've been thinking um, I think I'll I think I'll leave it for now but once I test and make sure all the hydraulics work, I think I'm gonna probably bring it back in the shop for a day or two and cut some more brackets like this and weld them here and down here on the tube that mounts on here. Then I can have the stabilizer straight out and not just out to the sides. Uh, my original plan was going to make a plate sort of like that on the top of here and there and make the stabilizer swing. Um, I just couldn't figure out a way to keep them swung to whatever side, and I, I it just, yeah, I just said screw it, I'll just mount them solid on. So I'll just, I'll probably make some just coming straight out, and then if I'm working up next, like a build, to a building or something, or in between, I was actually thinking today, well I might do a job one day that involves me to get in between the two houses. And the houses nowadays are like, a lot of them are actually only like three feet apart, so I'd be screwed anyway. But for the ones that are like nine, uh, uh, six or eight feet wide, I can get in there fine with the tires. Like, with the tires on, I think it's, this total is four foot, I think, and with the tires on, it's like six foot. So. Um, six foot at its widest point, so that's why I want to do the stabilizer straight out, right? But anyway, and I, I did them out at the angle originally, because when you when you're if I'm just working out in the bush or in an open area, moving rocks or something, or or logs or heavy piles of gravel or whatever, when you swing to the side, if they're straight out, it would tip, right? So that's why they're up way out at the angle. But anyway. I think it looks good. Um, 
from a far look away, it looks awesome. But if you get up close, then you can see where it hasn't been quite covered yet. But another two or three coats, and it should be good. All right, guys. I'm actually amazed how well that panel turned out. It turned out much better than than uh, brushing it. But anyway, all right, guys. Take care. Another update soon. Um, I just didn't want to do one of it of me painting because I was worried about getting paint mist on the lens. Then I then I'd be really screwed. But anyway, definitely um, get some gloves on or something when you're painting. That's what I figured out. And if you have longish or hair at all, cover it up. So I think mine's got some paint in it. I don't know. I'll have to see. Feels a bit. I don't know, it's stuck together, we'll see. I hope I got some turpentine up the hose, but anyway. <laughs> Alright guys. Um, take care. More uh, updates soon. A little bit of painting left, and then I can start throwing her to, um, tomorrow, I think. I'll probably, if it's cool, if it's a nice day out, or not so sunny outside, I'm going to set up shop out there, weld up all these, finish welding everything, and then I, I'm i ready just to throw it all back together. Or, uh, and then I can start paint, set up, move the mower in here, and set up and paint all, all this stuff, and then I'm good to go. Uh, I can just throw it back together. Um, so, all right guys, take care, more videos soon, bye.